turquoise girl is eight weeks old and she is an F1 mini medium Bernadoodle from Ellie Jean and Theodore's litter. She currently weighs a whole nine pounds, five ounces. I'm expecting her adult weight to be around 35 pounds when she's fully mature. She is a traditional bicolor, so she's got the black base and then she has lots of white on her. She has a full white muzzle and white blaze which goes all the way up across her head and turns into a full collar back here. And then she's got full um, four white stockings, white chest, and then she also has the um, traditional white tip on her tail just like the Bernese. So, so far this girl, she doesn't have any tan points whatsoever. That's okay, we just absolutely love all of her white. She has a um, light wavy coat right now. I know, I'm holding you so weird. <laughs> She's just tolerating it really well. Um, she has a wavy coat and it's a really nice loose wave right now. So I'm expecting that to wave up a little bit more. And when I say wave up, so it'll be kind of like a, um, when a wave just crests all the way over. So it's almost like a big loose curl. I think she's gonna get some on her coat like that um, when her adult coat comes in. So her grooming needs will probably be about every six to eight weeks with um, brushing all the way through her coat uh, weekly to keep those mats out. And her energy level is um, medium to low. She tends to be one of the um, more submissive ones in the litter. She um, takes after her mom that way. Ellie's like that. And so she's one that when I introduce something new, she definitely wants to check it out first and then she's good to go with it. So she doesn't just, you know, she's not tucking her tail and running away, but she's not walking right up confidently to new things. She definitely wants to take a little bit of time, observe it first, and especially a lot of it depends on how I'm doing. If my attitude is, hey, come on, let's do this, this is good, then she's like, okay, good to go. But if um, she's not sure and I'm not letting her know that it's okay, then she's definitely a little bit more reserved with that. So that's something to keep in mind as she's introduced to new things. But she does do good with new dogs. Um, she hasn't had any difficulty there when she's been able to meet anybody. She gets really excited about that. She also um, is a really good follower. She's the one who likes to stay with me the most um, when I let all the puppies out and then work with them and then I'll just be doing some work on my own. She is one that likes to follow me around, just check out and see what I'm doing. And so um, she would be good in a home where that's something that is wanted is to have a follower. She's probably going to be one of those that's like, wait, you're going to the bathroom? I need to go hang out in there too because <laughs> she just really likes to be with people. She loves to snuggle. She's very soft, very sweet. Um, in the way that she like climbs up to, to my lap. She doesn't just jump all over me. She's also got really good attention and good eye focus when I'm working with her. So she's been really easy to train because of that. And um, what else? Oh yes, she does. She's one, um, half the puppies have an umbilical hernia and she's one that does have that. I'm actually rubbing it right now. She's just got a little spot where her um, belly button is that protrudes. It's like an Audi. Um, belly button instead of an in and it doesn't cause her any problems, no pain, it's not anything that she can have a normal active puppy life with, but will probably need to be um, taken care of when she is spayed during that surgery and I do reimburse up to $200 for that added um, fee, which is usually the average price tends to be about $150 is what we've had so far. She would do good at home with um, all ages. She'd be great with older people, great with kids, provided you know that the kids aren't, um, I shouldn't say young because it's not necessarily about age, but you know the kids that are just maybe always on top of the puppy and won't leave them alone because she will want to be able to have time to kind of, like I said, check things out first before she's just forced to do it. So as long as the children can understand that that's the case, and work with her on that, then it would work out good. And she does really great with the other dogs. I already mentioned that. 
yeah, look at her. She's just like, okay, whatever. If that's what you want to do, if you want to hold me like this, she just tolerates everything really well. Very biddable puppy. And that is Miss Turquoise Girl.